This week on Redefine Baseline, I'm setting out to cook a more complex and exciting meal than what I would otherwise normally cook. My boyfriend and I live in a really remote area, so we cook most nights of the week, but it's usually fairly simple with a few exceptions here and there. I want to acknowledge that I'm making this video just a few days after Russia invaded Ukraine, and so in some ways it does feel a bit frivolous or even maybe insensitive. But I also think that in moments of fear and uncertainty, just like what we've seen the past few years with the pandemic and with political unrest, it is important for us as individuals to find our moments of peace. And I think that creating this video and making this meal today will be one of those moments for me. I'm also going to be cooking from a cookbook that offers its own small amount of hope for a different conflict. The Jerusalem Cookbook, part of the introduction reads, this book and this journey into the food of Jerusalem form part of a private odyssey. We both grew up in the city, Sami in the Muslim East and Yutam in the Jewish West, but never knew each other. We lived there as children in the 1970s and 1980s, and then left in the 1990s, first to Tel Aviv and then to London. Only there did we meet and discover our parallel histories. We became close friends and then business partners. The book begins with a section about the history of Jerusalem, as well as a bit of the history behind the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. But it also talks about the power of food to unite folks. It is sad to note how little daily interaction there is between communities, with people sticking together in closed homogenous groups. Food, however, seems to break down those boundaries on occasion. You can see people shop together in food markets or eat in one another's restaurants. On rare occasions, they work together in partnership in food establishments. It takes a giant leap of faith, but we are happy to take it because what have we got to lose? To imagine that hummus will eventually bring Jerusalemites together, if nothing else will. So, I'm on an adventure to make three meals from the cookbook, but first, I've got some dishes to do. making this meal for dinner, but I'm going to prep some stuff now in advance. So we're starting off with hummus, which is going to become part of a larger thing later on. So I'm going to start off by prepping some garlic. Four tablespoons freshly squeezed lemon juice. This recipe calls for dried chickpeas, which you have to soak overnight. And frankly, I don't have the patience for that. Garbanzo. Now we're blending up our chickpeas and adding our tahini, lemon, garlic, and salt. Holy crap, this is so much hummus. Oh my god. Okay, there it goes. So I'm doing something which I never do, which is bake. And so I'm challenging myself to make some homemade pita bread from scratch, and we're gonna see how it goes. I know zero of the fundamentals of baking. Okay, now this lovely medley we leave uncovered for 15 minutes, and I think science happens. Alrighty, now we are adding salt, olive oil, and remaining flour. <laughs> Steph says to knead the dough, but the problem is I bake so infrequently that I barely even know what kneading is. It says to knead it until it's smooth, so I think it's getting fairly close. I'll probably call that good. Little baby dough ball. Plop. And now we tuck in the little baby. And let it rest for 10 minutes. Say hello to the dough baby! Hello dough baby! <laughs> Give it a kiss! My boyfriend John is home and I'm feeling very self-conscious about talking into the camera so it seems like a great time to move into the cocktail portion of our evening. Sound good? Sound good.
is fantastic. It says to deflate the dough, and I've seen videos of people just punching dough in the center, so I think that's what that means. I'm not even gonna Google it, I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> Alrighty, so now it says divide the dough into seven or eight equal amounts. Soon I'm going to be rolling out the pita, but to do that you need a rolling pin, which I don't own, so I'm going to be using this. serious before we're getting serious now I think I started this all around two and it's now seven so I might have been off a little bit more than I anticipated so the final two things that are kind of gonna happen concurrently are a lamb dish to top the hummus that I made earlier and then, what's the other thing? I can't even remember. I'm too tired. And then kind of like a burnt feta eggplant dish. Okay, here we go. We got the hummus plus the lamb dish that I can't pronounce. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> nice. Delicious. <laughs> Good job, Jerusalem cookbook. One more time.